Shiva Copiers. This is a training video on the new fourth generation Toshiba copiers. This is basically for the training uh, if you have a model that uh, either a 2040, 3040, 3540, 4540s or our larger copiers which are 6540s, 5540s or 5555s. So uh, this is actually for, again training for our new fourth generation copiers. Now you probably noticed that uh, a couple things have changed. Uh, there are two tabs that are missing here: user management and administration. To log into the copier now to a web interface, uh, you basically, of course, open up your internet browser, type in the IP address of your copier up here. So right now, this pretty this IP is pretty much 192.168.1.187. So again, this IP. This IP belongs to the copier. This is the copier you, you want to log into. That information your IT will have. Or you can also get that information from your copier. Again, this is critical. You need the, the IP address so you can log in to the copier's web interface through a browser. Preferably, we prefer Explorer or Firefox. Google Chrome does not work well with uh, our web browser. Okay, so to log into the copier, basically, you're going to go to the right hand side. You're going to click on the link that says login. You're going to get now this screen here. You're going to click on login. You're going to get you the screen that says admin. Uh, type in the username, which is admin. Lowercase is fine. And the default password should be 123456. If that password has changed, just please contact your IT. Most likely, they may so made that change. Again, the password is 123456. Go ahead and log in. Once you log in, you're probably going to notice there's two two tabs uh, here now, two additional tabs. You have the administration tab and the user management. Within the administration tab, you're going to see pretty much uh, not much has changed here except for one additional tab that says security, and we're going to get into that why that tab, that link is there actually, security link. We're going to get into that why that link is there. So basically, the administration tab, and also you have the user management tab. But we're going to go right now into a video on how to set up department codes. Basically, how to give the copier a password. Say if you have a copier that's in color, or you want to start tracking uh, your usage on printing and scanning with a password for particular users or, or for a whole department. So once you log into the administration mode, log into the user management tab, click on the user management, then right below on the blue link here there's a link that says department management click on that once you're in here pretty much this is the area you're going to start creating new passwords for users because you want to start tracking your print jobs you want to track color you want to track black and white you want to track scanning so this is where you're going to pretty much start uh, you're going to log in again to the admin mode go to user management department management and here you're going to start creating all the codes that you want to create for either a department or a user. You're going to click on new. Once you're in new, you're going to have your department name. Basically under the department name, that, that could be anyone. It could be a username, it could be a department, it could be shipping, it doesn't matter. But uh, right now at the moment, I'm going to give this a name. Uh, it's going to be test2. And for the code, like this could be pretty much uh, it could be either text, uh, numbers, uh, letters, but you got to give it, the code basically means it's a password. Right now at the moment we're going to give it A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. You can also give the users uh, a quotation, say if you want to limit them, limit the user on how many print jobs they could you do. Uh, that basically means if I turn this feature on, this one is actually for the color right here I could give the user say maybe 200 print jobs for the color quote and pretty much give it also 200 again that basically means when the user gets the 200 color print jobs or color uh, copies it's gonna start the machine is gonna stop printing in color for them because they do have a limitation if that happens uh, once they reach the limitation you need to come back and reset those counters we'll get into that in a minute but for now we're going to turn leave this off because right now it will track uh, we're going to save that and what it does it creates the user here it is here's the password here's the user 
Now you probably noticed that now the user is created test 2. I could click on the user's link and it gives me more detail about the user. Now this is the way you could go in and per user you can see what they're doing and plus you can also reset their counters. You have little uh, you have an icon here that says reset counters. You can come in, say we do turn you have the limitations turned on and the user gets to their quotation. You could pretty much uh, come in here, you know they've done their two hundred, you can make a note of that, reset the counters and goes back to the original counter. Uh, it goes back to zero so they can start printing another 200 in color or black and white. Okay, so if you do also want to delete the user, you select the user, click on delete, click OK, and the user is gone. It's not there anymore. Okay, so we I do have another account here, another test account with a password. As you notice, this is also, it could be text or a combination for the user. Now, once that's done, the next step is basically to turn the feature on so you can start tracking uh, your printing or scanning. You need to go back to the administration tab. Come into, there's a link here that says security. Once you're in the security, right on the first page, is going to give you an option that says department code. This is pretty much is going to ask you, do you want to enable the feature? As soon as you enable the feature, it gives you all these options are now available. You can now actually enable, you want to track copy, fax, print jobs, scanning. So it gives you an option if you want to enable or disable the features. Of course, you want to track copy, leave that enabled. Faxing, uh, that will be up to you if you want to track the fax. Basically on the fax, uh, it's sending uh, text out, but it's not actually using um, not using toner so it's up to you when I enable that feature I usually disable it because again it's not using any toner when you send faxes out everything is digital but if you do need to track it you could just leave that enabled print job that's all that means that print job that comes from a user when they're printing to the machine from their PCs or Macs this is the feature where it gets enabled scanning scanning basically again this is another option that the machine does not use any toner but if you want to track it you could track it also or you could disable that feature department list management this is something that when you need to print the, the list from the copier I would suggest leave that enabled so use users are not allowed to print that list from the copier so once that pretty much you have your settings everything else below stays by default nothing changes so basically you're gonna pr pretty much just use these top features enable the features that you need once you save it the features turned on it's on its way at the moment we're going to leave this disabled but that's how you turn on department codes to enable so you can start tracking your users and how much they print